Hey Capricorns and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your February 1st through the 15th by weekly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will apply to you all, so please take what does and leave what don't. All right. Spirit heads and angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn and love for the first two weeks of February? I ask that all messages brought through these cards are for the best and greatest good of our Capricorn friends. Thank you. All right. Your guys' first card out is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh. The Three of Cups. Let me move this deck out of my way. The Three of Cups in the upright and the Five of Wands in the reverse. The Three of Swords in Reverse. The Nine of Wands in Reverse. And the Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness. All three of you Earth signs are just in like the same spot. Okay, your guys's overall, or I'm sorry, your guys' shared energy with you and your partner is the Six of Swords in reverse, clarified by Justice in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The overall theme of your reading is the star. All right, I'm not kidding. I use all three earth signs. I've used three different decks, and you all have generally the same cards. So, wow. Let me get your messages here. Let's see. Okay. So your guys' overall uh, theme of the reading is the star. So divine timing. Um, we are in a time of Aquarius right now. So um, it that can also be what this is um, going on now. But... Um, this is also a card for me of divine timing. The stars are aligning. Your wishes are about to come true, Capricorn. You are just about there. Um, you could be wanting to be in a relationship with somebody, wanting to be uh, wanting to be in a commitment. And uh, for some of you, that is coming for you. So your shared energy with you and your partner is the six of swords in reverse. So um, refusing to move forward, not listening to your inner voice, not wanting to move on from a situation, even though it has, it's been rough and, uh, and hurtful, <clears throat> either you or your person is not wanting to move away from this connection. Um, you are in a karmic cycle. You are on the downside of the wheel. Um, so justice, the, it needs to regain balance again. Um, this needs to balance out. This needs to uh, you need to move on, move forward with this card. When they, when they, these two are clarifying this one, this one has to happen in order for these to turn upright because they're all three in the reverse. So you have to move out of this negative situation. You have to move out of this rough situation that you are in with somebody in order for your karmic scales to balance. And uh, the karmic wheel to turn in the upright. This most definitely is a karmic relationship you are in Capricorn um, because these two cards came out together. This is, karma is way out of balance and you're just going to keep repeating this cycle until you move forward and away from it. Um, and that wheel will not turn in the upright until you take action, until you um, speak the truth, walk the truth um, and allow these scales to balance out. You or your partner, remember, energies are fluid and go vice versa. So um, up to this point, you have been very confused on what to do. You have, uh, you just, you feel like you're in a fog. You can't see, you can't see the end in sight. Um, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to, you don't know what is the truth. Somebody could be lying to you um, intentionally to keep you confused. 
is what I'm hearing. Um, because there, there is, uh, this third party situation going on and that's why the karmic scales are out of balance. The scale only has two sides. So you throw another person in there and it, obviously it's going to be out of balance because one side is going to have two and the other side is going to have one. So this third party situation is, um, a karmic lesson. There's something within this relationship that you have to learn, but, um, it's, it needs to find balance again. One has to leave the situation in order for the balances to come back into um, one another. Spirit's advice is to leave the conflict behind, to walk away from this person has a lot of competition, a lot of options, um, and it's causing a lot of fighting, a lot of hurtful things. Uh, Spirit's advice for you is to leave that conflict. No longer allow yourself to be an option. Um, in this situation. Let's get some clarifiers here before I go any further. All right. Why is the three of cups here and where they're at now? Yeah. So, um, there are secrets coming out about this third party. Um, if their secrets aren't coming out, you, your intuition is telling you that there's this third party going on and you're not listening to it. You're not listening to your inner voice. Um, but for the majority of you, this is secrets coming out and you're finding out about this third party and you were so confused in the past because you didn't know what was going on, but you're finding out now. Why is spirit's advice to the five of wands? Okay. I'm going to put them back because I don't know if they came out right or upright or upset or in reverse. Since they fell on the ground. Why is the five of wands here? Oh my goodness. That is the card that popped out. The hanged man. So you need to, you need to, spirit's advice is to walk away from this conflict. Walk away from the situation that is causing you a lot of mental anguish. A lot of conflict within your own thoughts, in your own heart. And um, look at things from all viewpoints. Take a look, take a step back and look around. Because there's secrets going on within this third party. Your inner voice is trying to tell you your intuition. Um, take a step back and you're going to start seeing things from other people's point of view. And it's going to become clear. When you do go into that hanged man, um, the universe will enlighten you. And you will find healing within that, within that solitude of your own. Um, um, dealing with your own thoughts, your own internal conflicts. Um, but most of all, it's saying to walk away from the situation that is causing all this fighting and conflict. And you're going to see, it's going to become clear um, when you can start to see all, all what everyone else can see um, that's outside the relationship. Um, your outside influence is the three of swords in reverse. So um, this heartbreak has kept you from moving forward has kept you from moving past this situation. Yeah. And the six of pentacles is clarifying it. So your outside influence is somebody has put you in a third party situation where the, um, the scales aren't balanced. The six of pentacles, somebody's feeding more into a different relationship than this one. Um, and somebody put you in that three of swords situation. <clears throat> What, where this is headed is the nine of wands in reverse. You're no longer going to, um, keep fighting for this. You're realizing that the, there's not much left to fight here. Why is the nine of wands here in reverse for Capricorn? The seven of cups. So yeah, you're, there's a lot of confusion. Um, there's a lot of snakes in those cups, but you're realizing that you are coming to, you're coming out of this confusion, um, clarity is coming towards you and you're going to, um, realize that this situation is not, um, worth fighting for because they have other options that they are, uh, possibly actively, um, acting out on. So, um, your overall outcome is the eight of swords. You're still feeling trapped within your thoughts. Um, and it's being clarified by the chariot in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. So somebody is just out of balance off their rocker that you're dealing with. 
um, the person that you're dealing with that put you in this third party and it's causing you to not be able to move forward. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling conflicted. Um, they are putting thoughts in your head that are causing you to be confused and not be able to move forward from this situation that is clearly out of balance and unfair to you. This person um, has really brought you some some energy that is that has not been fair. Um, with the star, though, once you are able to move forward with this chariot and out of this uh, karmic relationship that is completely out of balance, you your wishes are going to come true. You have been thinking that this person, you've been wishing and hoping and praying that this relationship would work out, that it would uh, be able to uh, come into a commitment, but, oh, there, were, there was a wheel of fortune again in reverse, but, um, this person isn't your divine partner. You have a true divine partner. I'm actually going to get some clarifiers on this because, um, I'm getting messages channeled in. So, um, your true divine partner is coming in for you after you learn this karmic lesson and move out of this karmic, uh, relationship. Why is this star here? Spirit? Oh, that's exactly what I was getting. Okay. Yeah. Nine of swords is at the bottom of your deck. No longer allowing this mental turmoil in your, in your own mind. Um, you are letting this go. All right. So your first two cards out clarifying divine timing, um, in the next two weeks, uh, your wishes are going to come true. It's not quite time yet because you have to learn this karmic lesson and get out of this relationship. But when you do, you have the truth coming in for you and your soulmate with the six of cups. Um, you are going to clearly realize who your soulmate is. Um, once you take a step back and look at all things from all perspectives, um, and you got the star card out again. So most definitely, um, when the stars align, you are going to meet the soulmate if you have not met them yet, but they are coming in for you. Um, you have to get away from the seven of swords, this, uh, deceitful energy that is surrounding you. You have to make the choice to love yourself first and to leave the situation that you were put in by a third party. Um, with the 10 of cups in reverse, the, the love has all run out of the cups and it's time to end this cycle. In this chapter, learn this lesson and move forward. Um, you are going to receive a message from a fire sign um, or just a younger um, person who is very um, adventurous. You are going to receive a quick message from them um, and they are going to move in very quickly with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So this person is going to move in very passionately, very quickly with love, true love, um, lots of passion, lots of adventure, lots of fun, and your true wishes, your true dreams will then come true with this person. Let's see what's coming towards you as your predictive cards for the next two weeks. So Capricorn, I swear all three of your earth signs are learning the same karmic lesson. These are like the same three readings with three different decks. Here's that hanged man. So you are going to, in the next two weeks, Capricorn, take that step back um, and begin the healing. Becoming enlightened, um, gaining your confidence back, uh, gaining your stability, your sense of self-worth, um, and you will begin to nurture your own self, your own needs, your own wants. You don't need nobody else. You got yourself and you can um, provide for your own. You can... Um, there could be fear of money and that's why you're st sticking around, but you're going to quickly find out that when you nurture yourself, when you invest in yourself, abundance is going to find its way to you. Look at that. Abundance is going to find its way to you. Oh my God. There's so many cards there. I can't take those all. Um, yeah. When you invest in yourself, you will become abundant very quickly. Like, in the, in the bat of an eye almost, it feels like, but first you got to take that step back and begin that healing, which I do see you doing. And the five of wands. So you are going to come out on top of this. Um, as you see him standing up and the rest are sitting down, 
when you choose yourself, when you love yourself and you begin healing, you will be the clear winner, not with everybody else, but within your own inner conflicts, your own mind. You are going to choose you and you're no longer going to fight all these people. You're no longer going to constantly fight for this person's attention, for this person to be faithful to you because you know your worth, you know your value, and you know that if you invest in yourself, you will be able to be successful and abundant in whatever you do. And you're going to figure that all out while you are in this time of healing with the help of the universe gifting and blessing you with some inner wisdom, some insight, and um, awakening you to the whole new life that you are about to embark on. So congratulations, Capricorn. You're going through some difficult energy, but there is the light at the end of the tunnel. So keep walking forward. Keep moving forward. Speak speak your truth. Walk your truth. Let those karmic lessons be learned. Allow that wheel to turn in the upright and no longer um, put yourself in a situation where you are the third party. So all right, Capricorns, I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.